tonight on the season finale of Old Spirits. OSI concludes their first investigation of the old hospital on College Hill alongside West Virginia Paranormal Investigations and Dark Hollow Paranormal. After wrapping up an in-depth session focused on the third floor, the team returned to the fourth floor and discovers something far darker than the shadows, patiently waiting to make its voice known. Oh, I just heard a voice. Yeah. The tripwire lit up. Yep, yep. Is that you trying to leave? Stay. finale the conclusion of the old hospital on college hill mm. what a trip this has been and thank you all for taking this incredible paranormal journey with us because this has been a trip yeah this I, has been a trip <laughs> we've had some wonderful things and been to some wonderful places mm -hmm. but i think the old hospital really comes to play and i think it's a really good finale for the season absolutely Absolutely. I could not agree with you more. And I also want to say real quick, you have come into your own this season. I have watched you from when you started, mm -hmm. where you would kind of ditch me in places while I'm trying to put all the <laughs> equipment in the bags. And now you have your, your camera work. I, I, the, 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 it was the first I time. I a little bit of work on my camera. <laughs> The little news, Blair Witch, I little think. Little Blair Witch, but you know what? We we are gonna sort that out in the off season. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna practice. We're gonna get lots of ahead, yeah. lots of practice ahead. But uh when we last left, mm -hmm. or should I say well, I left you. Yeah. <laughs> Phil and I left you, should yes. I say? Yes, they abandoned me, everybody. They abandoned me <laughs> on the second floor. <laughs> Above you. It wasn't like we left the building or anything. It felt like you left the building. <laughs> <laughs> but I would like to know, why were you wanting to get on that third floor? Well, I'd been doing a lot of research about uh, Mose, who was the guy that uh, got a, into a bit of an altercation with the local police and uh, unfortunately shot and killed a police officer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so I knew that that was the floor where he had jumped out the window. And that was Mose Blackburn, right? That's and, right. Interesting. Yeah. Coincidence, Blackburn. Yeah, with the Blackburn in. No yeah. relation, though. No relation to the Blackburn. As far Blackburn as we know, no. As far as we know. But, um, yeah, that was that was an incredible story. One of many from the old hospital on College Hill in beautiful Williamson, West Virginia. Yes. But before we get into tonight's conclusion, just want to remind you all to like this episode. And when you're done liking the episode, go on ahead and subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for whenever we put up new content. Whether it is a premiere, whether it is a live event, which we have a few of those coming up, whether it is a special event, which is out of season content, any of that, you'll get notified once we go live with that. In fact, while you're watching this episode, make sure to share that on the community tab uh, over on YouTube. Just let people know whether you're on uh, X, whether you are on Threads, whether you are all part of the major migration to Blue Sky, let people know that right now this is happening the season finale of Old Spirits Season 3. Are you ready to go back? I'm ready to see the whole intense experience. <laughs> One more time, here we go. So Mose, we have so many questions. So what many I'm gonna questions. do Mose, so you can help us figure out what your room is, I'm gonna set this device down. And when I have it in the right room, that is your room, Rose, I want you to make it beep. Yeah. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Meantime, so we'll let it sit in there for a few minutes. That's your room, Rose. Yeah. Just make that device go beep. The interesting thing was that I found out Mose wasn't actually from West Virginia. Really? He's from Kentucky. Originally born in Kentucky. 
and I was trying to figure out about your wife, Mose, because I was his looking. first wife or his second wife? Well, I got confused until I worked out that you had two wives. Uh. One that died in 47, Clemmy. Clemmy. And the one that you had the argument with outside the restaurant, who was either Orla or Ori, one of the others, depends. What did you call her? Apart from trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so you had a restaurant on Pike Street. And uh, I'm not sure what kind of restaurant it was. No one told me whether it was like a barbecue restaurant or... Oh, but he owned a restaurant? Yeah. Oh, he and all owned a restaurant. Yeah, I know that. Yeah. I knew uh, that. I knew that, yeah. Um, I didn't know that. <laughs> can you tell us what kind of restaurant it was? I hope it was barbecue. I would do some barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. So there you are, have outside your restaurant. And you're having an argument with Ori or Orla, whatever name you decide. Mm -hmm. And nobody has reported. What was the argument about? Yeah, we, we're really interested to know what you were arguing about. Fighting? 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 Yeah, yeah fighting. You were fighting. Was it over money? Burn your <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody cheating on somebody? My question is, why shoot the police officer? Yeah. Is that an accident? Yes. Yes. It was a clear yes. That was, that was a clearly a yes. Well, that's a terrible accident because you shot him right under the eye. Probably one of the few places a 22 would be lethal. <laughs> oh. I was right there or something? Yeah. So you didn't mean to, it was an accident. Well, you weren't a young, young, young man, you were in... I think he was 45, right? Yeah. That's not too old, guys. <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> no, but I'm saying, you know, <laughs> shooting a policeman, you feel like it's a young man's game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but if it was an accident. Mose, did they treat you well here at the hospital? Yeah. They did, yeah. Yeah, they did, yeah. Yeah, they took good care of you. But I guess you didn't want to go to court. Were you scared, Mose? Watching. We're really trying to get your story because people have said all kinds of things. Like some people have said you were pushed out that window. Some people said you were trying to kill yourself by jumping out that window. But looking at it, I don't think you were, because there's a roof directly. No. I was trying to escape. Yeah, so you were trying to escape, right? The police officer went to uh, get himself a glass of water. And did you see your chance? Right, Mose, I'm going to move this uh, 
REM pod into the next room over. Extra long antenna. <laughs> They're trying to find the room you were in. So if you're in that room, we can make a deal. I'm just curious. Did you just hear a voice? A voice. I just heard a voice. We yeah. absolutely heard like a voice. So if you're in that room, we can make a deal. I'm just curious. Did you just hear a voice? A voice. I just heard a voice. We absolutely heard like a voice. Is that a female? Yeah. Oh. I was I was literally about to ask. If uh, Orla came to visit you. Yeah. Oh, beeping. So, so it was this, this was, room. This was your room here? Thank you, Mose. Yup. And I got a yell yep. off of that. So did Orla come, your wife, come to visit you? I wonder if she felt bad that you'd had an argument and... And it escalated, I'm sure, more than you two thought. Was the argument after dinner or before? I don't know. So they had the I don't know. Did drinks. you fight a lot with your wife? It feels like when there's a personal question, it's like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. We've all had we, fights. We all had fights. You gonna make a break for it for the window again? Grandpa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make a noise. You want us to make a noise? Moses, can you make a noise? Are you alone up here, Moses? Do the nurses take care of you? Why are you still here, Lewis? You can go back to Kentucky, you don't have to stay here. It's not very far. <laughs> it's just across the river. I guess they had to close the restaurant down. The uh, owner of the building, his name's Charlie Hatfield. Mm. And my name is Scott McCoy. So what do you guys think about that? What do you think about them Hatfield and McCoys? <laughs> Did you just go? That was, that was my dummy. <laughs> I don't know. You shot a Hatfield. Officer good Hatfield. job, good job. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? Because I said you're welcome. <laughs> well, I'm sure you didn't mean to kill yourself.
So we, shall we tell people that? That you were just trying to escape? That sounded like, yep. Is that a car? Yeah. Yeah. There's actually people that live just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. Thank you. Oh. If there's uh, if there's one message we could deliver for you, Mose, what would that be? Anything you'd want to say to Orla? She moved up to Maryland. Mm. What about Clemmy? Any message for her? Are you done talking, Mose? Mose, if you're done talking, can you say goodbye? Yes. Is that goodbye? <laughs> Okay, well, it's probably been about that time, guys. So. Yep, we got 11 or 7. Yep. So we're going to do the final <laughs> draw here. I can find my little bag. <laughs> Here. All right, I'm moving on up to the top floor. All right. All right. You're going to do 15 minutes up there and then come down yeah, and, and start heading back in. Right? Okay. All right. We'll hang up there with Mars, I guess. Yes. Because I did have one question left. Oh. Is it a saucy question? <laughs> it is. Well, I'm, I'm, you know, always curious about uh, relationships. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. All right. All right. Good, luck. Good luck. See you shortly. What is it? It's an aunt again. Uh, aunt? Aunt. Like Aunt Ruth? Have you, have you met my Aunt Ruth? She came from good. I mean, I suppose if you were going to say anyone was a hillbilly. New Zealand style. New Zealand style? <laughs> okay. I'm going to set this music button. Right yeah. I'm coming back. We're coming back. It's not for you. What's not for me? What? Well, that's for Phil? Is, is that... Whoa, that was a weird voice. Did that say Jack or...? Is that like Jack? Uh, is there someone else here right now? All my hairs are standing up. Look. Mm. I don't know if you see that. Did someone else just join us? Because I'm getting that feeling. Who else is here with us right now? That was my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is here? I think that's me sitting there. Off. That is not me doing that off. Huh? Don't leave. Oh, we're not leaving. We're not leaving. I wanted to ask Mose. I'm going to move this, Mose. I wanted to ask of your two wives, 
Clemmy or Orla? Which do you think was the better wife for you? I'm not sure how to interpret it there. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if, it, if Orla was a better wife than Clemmy, make all those lights light up. Because I've seen you do that. All the lights for Orla and the green light mm. for Clemmy. Did I just did I just ask a really tough question? <laughs> are they here listening oh. to your response? Is that why? Are you are you worried? Oh, green light. Oh really? Yeah, there was a green light. Oh, so Clemmy. So Clemmy. Did you maybe not argue as much? <laughs> mm. I think maybe the problem is that when you have an argument with your wife in the street in a small town, <laughs> everyone, yeah, everyone's, everyone knows about it. Yep, and the cops get called. Things get a little crazy. Things get a little bit. Next thing you know, you've shot a police officer, and you're injured, and everything is a mess. Had you, had you fired that gun before? Or was that the first time you fired that gun? I'm not sure what you... Did it say go? Did you want us to uh, go to another part? We don't want to, you don't want us here? Back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> back where? Do you want to go back to Kentucky? I mean, I don't know the rules, but I'm pretty sure that you don't have to stay here if you don't yeah. want to. You can go back, maybe back, go back to where Clemmy is. If you think she was a better match for you. Did that say it's a ritual or something? It sounds like it's a ritual. Huh. Do you need a ritual to go back? I don't feel like that was most. No. Most, do you know that person who just spoke? That was a weird ass voice too. Yeah, it was. was it? Yeah, that was an interesting voice. It wasn't either of your wives, was it? <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever done anything ritually in this building. Mm. Abandoned. Not surprising. Yeah, I feel like the I feel like the energy has been slowly changing up here. Robert. Robert. Hmm. Is that up? Ooh, what's that? Is it? Who's Robert? Are you afraid of Robert? What's this about a ritual? That seems to be a trigger word. Okay. Are you, uh, are you frightened by this ritual? Yep, yep. Is that you trying to leave? And again. Is that you trying to get out the window? Mm. 
Is that how much this uh, idea of ritual scares you? Just gonna... Trying to get out the window? Thank you for lighting that up though. That blue light's part of my birthday present. Why don't you try to go in out that window again? But this time, hang. Just hang by your hands. And then drop. And then just drop. Don't just jump out of it. Yeah. Just run up. Get over the ledge, and then just give it a, just hang there for a bit, and then drop. Because from what I understood, when you tried to do it back in the 60s, you ended up with a broken jaw and a broken arm, and a, it was not so good. Get some of that train energy. Yeah, give us some train <laughs> energy. When you hit that roof below, did you know you were done? Was I reacting to my question? Mm, or to the train? To the train, I don't know. Well, the restaurant was actually right down by the train tracks. Oh. Did it have a railroad theme, your restaurant? Mm. Did you feed the, uh, the workers on the railroad? That said too, I, I couldn't quite figure it out until. Ah, uh, yeah, until it goes yeah. Angry. Are yeah? you? Are you angry? I mean, it is a series of unfortunate events that brought you to this point. I'll say. But you don't have to stay here. You can go be with your people. You know, there's no police officer to stop you. There's no police officer can stop you if you want to leave. Yeah. Maybe Clemmy's waiting for you somewhere. It's up to you. What, what do you feel is keeping you here? There's much we can do to help you. No. And we're not <laughs> condoning murder. You know, accident or not, it's it was wrong what happened. I don't know. I, don't know. I didn't like it though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you gotta. We all must take accountability for our actions. Maybe that's why you're stuck here. Mm. You, maybe you blame Orla for what happened. I'm sure she didn't make things better. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'd love to know if she came to visit you. <laughs> Did Orla come visit you? Oh. oh, I missed it. Sorry, we didn't hear that. Can you repeat that? Did Ola come visit? That was interesting. Yeah, that's an interesting guy. Was that Ola? I mean, she might have felt bad as well. Yeah. Was Ola from here? 
I think she was Kentucky as well. Oh. Mm. Do you like it when we talk about Orla? I remember you. You remember us? From where? Uh, from earlier today, I might guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say, yeah. Yeah, we'll say earlier today. Yes, earlier today. Indeed. Yeah, it's us. <laughs> it's us. I was really trying to find a picture of you, Mose, because, you know. Oh, no luck. No luck. I couldn't find a picture of you. I think, I think, did you have children? I think you did. Church. Church. Doctor something. Yeah. Disrespectful. Huh. Was the doctor disrespectful? We're trying to be as respectful as possible. Right. We don't come here to uh, for cheap, <laughs> for cheap tricks. Yes. Yeah. We come here to learn about your story. Do you mind if I just come in here for a few minutes? It's interesting, a bit. Oh, 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 I've got... We're walking. Uh, it, it, up? it lit up again, yeah. Okay, okay if you're walking, that's fine. Yeah. We're, we're not going to get in your way. That's, That's not you. Are you looking out the window? Is that a help or a yeah? It's not like a help. Okay. Oh wow, it's really good now. You know what it is? You start packing stuff up and things start going off. It's me. It's me. Me who? Me Mose? Okay, should we are we packing our stuff up? Have you done playing with the We're gonna be uh heading downstairs soon. Do you ever go downstairs or do you just stay on this floor? You running out of energy? Mm. You've been doing a lot up here. I like that stripe light up one more time. Oh, that was my arm. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> oh, it Crank. Crackle and pop. I'm going to come get the REM pod now. Is that it? Is that you? I don't know. No, I don't think so, because I'm off. No, that was not me. <laughs> you do the hokey pokey? Yeah, I, you do the hokey pokey? What that say? I don't know. <laughs> Something like you eat. Something about dancing, it's not about it. Are you a dancer, Mars? All right, I'm taking this. Thank you. Is 
See, I'm standing right here. Yeah. I mean, maybe, I don't know if it has... Is there a uh, attachment on this spot on the on the back side too? There is supposed to... Mm. Because maybe there's sensors on each side. Have you, you been before? If you got the extension. Have you been before? Have I been dancing before? Yes. <laughs> Mosley, well, you down there? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. In danger. We've gotten that several times tonight. <laughs> yes. I know you you're saying in danger, but I haven't really had that sense. And I get that. You know, I do know when I'm in danger, I think. Who's on this side of the building? Anybody? You know Moe's? Judge. Judge? Hmm. Is there a judge over here? There was a judge. Was there a judge? There was a judge that might have passed here, I think. Is there a nurse here? My friend here is just recovering from a virus. Yes, yes. He's got some uh, strange symptoms yeah, that you I, probably wouldn't know about. <laughs> I can't smell. Which is sometimes a blessing. <laughs> Would you be able to uh, perhaps look him over and mm -hmm. diagnose what's wrong with him? Or do we have to sit and wait? Maybe there's a, maybe there's a, is it a busy day? Red. Red. Hmm. Red light? Maybe. Hell. Are you feeling like you're in hell? You feel like you just can't stop coming to work? <laughs> that does sound like hell. Yeah. I heard like a, Was that creak your chair? No, I didn't. Okay, it sounded like a chair creak. It's my chair. Oh, yeah. Did someone just sit down with us? Oh, that's gotta be Scott. Are you still working here? My friend here's wife is a nurse as well. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we thought we heard you coming down before. Yeah, about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> we thought we heard you coming down. Really? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, it turned out uh, not to be. Scott picks up Phil and Pip from the third floor, and now they come down to retrieve me. While I was no longer filming with the FLIR for whatever reason, probably just glad to see people again, you can hear our discussion on what we're currently seeing and what I recorded. The, uh, the spike was going off like no tomorrow, hit red at least twice, nice. and I forgot that I had cat balls, uh, and I had them, I just rolled them out when you guys were coming down. Uh. But I want to show you guys something on the FLIR. Let me show you something. Come back here. Mm -hmm. Come back here. Because I think it might still be there. Oh. I recorded it. So. All right. So there's the there's the there's the IR there's the IR light. Mm -hmm. I want to see if it's still there. What was it doing? 
Oh shit. Huh? Oh wait, wait, I think it's this it's this spot right here. There's a window way down there. That might be the window. No, it wasn't the window. Oh my god, is it really gone? Hold on a second. It's gone. Hold on a second. I recorded it, so there it is. That's, okay. That's not window. That's not no, window. No, it's not uh, the window. That looks like someone leaning out. I know. Oh, that's not window. No, it's not the window because when you fast, if you fast uh, forward, I'll, I'll get this footage to you. But if you fast forward this, you'll see I was the the the, the camera. <laughs> it was about here. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. about here. That spot never freaking moved. And then you guys come down here. Cat ball. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Rossi. I hate you so much. And I hate you guys at West Virginia Paranormal. But that'll be a nice cut. But but that didn't move the whole time I was I was videotaping. Like you guys came down here. That thing isn't there anymore. If I if I go back to the camera, oh, it's shy. Somebody was watching you, and then uh... yeah, that's the window. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. It's Very interesting. Huh. With the horror movie experiment drawing to a close, OSI returns to the fourth floor for what would be the final stop for our first ever investigation of the old hospital on College Hill. Phil and I decide to try a variation on a theme. Instead of a double Estes, Phil would run an Estes session while I would hold an automatic writing session. Pip would monitor us while asking questions. This is solid little one. Spare boxes. The the uh, ghost stop ones. Mm. Yeah. I think you can record with them too. Yeah, you can. I was asking if um, if if we should be doing if we should, if we should be recording our Estes methods because I've seen some people do it and I've seen some people like do record it. oh on the spare box itself and then and then, and then oh. sync it with the, the audio. Well. Mm. When you guys are both situated and ready, could you raise your raise your right hand? Raise your right hand. Just get, let me know that you're good to go, and I'll start asking questions. Okay, well, where Did you hear that? Did I hear what? Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Just get, let me know that you're good to go, and I'll start asking questions. Okay, well, where Did you hear that? Did I hear what? Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand. Just get, let me know that you're good to go, and I'll start asking questions. Did you hear that? Did I hear what? I didn't hear it. It sounded like a oh, like a slight I, scream. I heard, I didn't hear a scream, but I did hear a moan when I was by myself. Let's see. Let's see if I can get You said we, we do or don't have a second blindfold? Oh, uh, we do. Did you? I, I brought it out. Pep, where's the second blindfold? It's around here somewhere. I swear to God, I brought it. Is that it over there? Oh, I see it. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Is it it's underwear or it's a blindfold? Someone's underwear. Okay. 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 Power this baby up. Ooh, okay. I'm not gonna hear anything but this. So, <laughs> so, uh, all right. All right. Hands. Holy sh. Okay. Oh, much better. What do you want? All right, we're here today. We're trying to listen to the stories of the people who worked and were treated in this place. 
Are you a doctor? Stay. You're not interested? Fear. Boring. You ruined it. How can we... Uh... Spirits. Hold. Cold. Cold. What about me is... What about us is boring? Seventeen. Okay. I'm from Texas. Are you from Texas? Okay. Hey, that's not so nice thing to say to me. I'm the a bitch. Beast. The beast. Well, we will get out, but... Gabe. Gabe. Who's this? Oh, now you're laughing? Now, William, don't make me call a nurse up here. Cause... Philip. What are you laughing at? There's someone in front of me. That's me. Jerk. Peril. The mob. We're looking at you. Feel. We're trying to see you. Could you come closer? He's close. Oof. Why are you here? We're here to learn the stories of this place. Give it to me. Oof. What would you, you like? You should go. Okay. What would you like me to give you? Death. Oh my gosh. Is there anybody else? My needs. I'm dead. You really don't care? Say it. Why is Phil touching his... I know myself. Why is Phil touching his neck? Are you touching him? What's up with the tea? Are you influencing tea? Who am I talking to? Heather. I'm talking to Heather? Are you a nurse? It's hot. I feel like you're talking to two different people. Two step. Do you know Heather? Person who's talking to T, do you know Heather? They found him. Okay. Hurt me. What don't you like? Do you not like that Heather is telling her story through Phil? Oh, Jesus. Someone just touched me. Okay, who's uh, touching okay. Phil? Holy shit, I need to break it. Okay. Oh. I that was getting a little intense right there. You oh. should read what Phil, Phil, you should hand hold me. Oof. You should read what Phil. It like, I felt like something grabbed my arm. Really? Yeah. Well, it read is. that. <laughs> what? Thanks. What do you want? I'm not interested. You're boring me. <laughs> Get lost, bitch. What are you looking at? Why you're here. I don't really, I really don't. Wow. No, 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 look at the oh, second page. Oh, there's page two. There's page two. Shut it. I really don't like you. And the thing was, I had the, the, so how I'm doing this, we're going to talk about this, obviously. Yeah. When do it. It's like when I'm writing. You yeah. Know, I, if I get an impulse to write something, yeah. I just go ahead and write it. Yeah. The last impulse I had was was just writing f over and over and over again. Mm. So, yeah. Well, I just heard a noise in there, too. And I said, Well, this is the angry floor. You this know? is the angry yeah. floor. Yeah. But interestingly, I said, who am I talking to? And you said, Heather. Hmm. So there's probably more than one person up here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. sure there is. But no devices went off. Uh, those tubes said, give it to me. Yeah. Get some. <laughs> Get some. Whew. All right. You want to do it again? <laughs> I'll take a minute. A, Do you want to flip? Let's take a minute. Let's take a minute. Yeah. Let's take a minute. Yeah.
Here we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why we're doing this again, but uh, we yeah. Oh, and you're leaving this Okay, ready? I yeah. feel like I need to move away from this door. <laughs> oh, just a touch. Just a touch. So I'm sorry if it messes up the uh, angle. No, it doesn't mess up. Sure. But uh, this, yeah, that wasn't good for me either. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. These on? All right. Okay. And. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Okay. It's freezing. Who touched Phil? Punk? Are you calling Phil a punk? Who? Are you coming? Who? Who grabbed hold of Phil's arm? Frank. Okay, Frank. Why did you he grab? Likes. Frank. Why did you grab hold of Phil? Frank. It's Frank. It's a bank account. His bank account. Oh. I'm you... old. Are you angry about money, Frank? Fired. Oh, were you fired, Frank? Weapon. Oh. So you were fired from here, Frank? Are you a doctor? Stop it. He's here. He's old. Okay, Frank, we get, get it that you're old. Why are you angry? Gingerbread snaps? Okay, I love gingerbread snaps. I've had enough. Do it. Did you know any of the doctors here, Frank? Frank's out. Frank's out? You're I angry. see him here. Are you, are you alone? Are you angry that you're alone? Seems like you need someone to talk to, Frank. That sometimes helps if you're angry about something to talk about it. Clean up. Cut. Cut him. Okay, Frank. What did you do at the hospital? I treated him. A hooker. The hooker. Ooh, okay. It's so noisy. I went to bed. So, is there something to do with Raped. Okay. Scream. I heard a scream. He's so weird. That's what the voice sounded like. Wow. You're telling us a real story, Frank. Was it? Take it, bitch. Okay. Who are you talking to, Frank? It's her teats. Falling. It's back, it's back, it's back. <laughs> I'm Frank. Okay, we, we understand that you're Frank. And we understand that you're angry at women, it sounds like. Women. Girls. Wow. Hate them. Okay, that was... Uh... Okay, that was... Ryan. It's Tom. It's Tom now? Bold one. All right. Hey, buddy. Calm down. Are you talking to Frank, telling him to calm down? Tom, are you talking to Don't Frank? Don't do it. Someone. Feel. Tom, it's Tom. Okay, so Tom. I'll back him up. Is, is Frank your friend? Traveled. Still. Take your pills and be happy. Ooh. Okay. Hey. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it started to taper off a little uh -huh. bit, but that was freaking intense. 
So, he's, what's he's really he's interesting... These sessions are feeling very quick. Is that, yeah. Um, well, you heard all the Franks I was getting. Yeah, there was a lot of Franks, and then suddenly Tom... Well, here's what's been interesting. I felt that super heavy presence, mm -hmm. and then I heard, which I'm very, very much familiar with from Ball's Bluff, my friend. Oh! And I just heard, it's Tom, and then that feeling of Frank, like, right in front of me, just went whoosh. Tom was like, Tom's like Tom, well, interestingly, Tom's like, show, yeah. show him what you were writing. Uh, See, Tom. you were saying when you said, no, that bit over the second page? <laughs> you said, calm down, calm down. That was when you were talking, of, you said Tom, and then uh, calm down, calm down. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> yeah, but then I write, take your pills and be happy. Stressed. <laughs> <laughs> But enough about me. Okay. Like Frank didn't sound nice. He was talking Frank about and rap and yeah. Good. Wow. I think he like rap well, or thing, something. I said, I said, we're saying to you. I said, I don't think it doesn't sound like you like women. And you went, girls, I hate them, something like that. It was. Wow. <laughs> so. It was interesting. Frank is not a happy character. I don't think he's not like evil or. He's just angry. He's just demonic. Angry. He's just yeah. nasty. He's old. Just a, a nasty piece of knitting. Yeah, yes. a nasty piece and of Tom, knitting. And your That's friend Tom turned up and was like, calm down. I'm telling you, it's to get the spiritual team. You get the spiritual and team. The, and the moment I heard Tom, like, the moment I heard it's Tom, like, I just felt relaxed. Oh, wow. It yeah. was amazing. Uh, was just like everything just like. Was, he like, stepped in between and was like, like. He just turned everything down. He was like, do you? So you need mm -hmm. a minute? Immune. Yeah, yeah, once Tom was around, you were immune. <laughs> once Tom comes to town. And then, and then I think I heard him say, like, I traveled or something yes. like that. Yeah. It's like, you're a long way from Ball's Bluff, Tom. Okay. Well, you know. Do you want? Do you yeah, I want. I want. Put, that my, was, put my name on that paper, shh, son. Shh, shh. That's funny because it made do, you, it. do you see a pair of shadows moving over there? So what? Or is that the light? I don't know, because I thought it's I saw it. It's, it's the light. It's the light. I thought I saw shadows. No, it's the light. Yeah. When, when you're moving the light this way. Yeah, like this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whew. <laughs> okay. Debunked. Right. So that was... <laughs> I was literally like, wow. When you said... I said, I don't think you like women. And then you said, women, I hate them. Like, two seconds. Brandy. Brandy? Or Brandy. Brandy. You said hooker. Tell me Brandy's not a hooker. Is That's it? kind of a hookerish name. Yeah. No offense, Brandy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> if you weren't to one, then... Oh, this is perfect. The ghost stop pen. Yeah, that's, that's why I went with it. Okay, so... Now, yeah. are you just listening to white noise on the spirit box? I'm just listening to static. I'm just okay, listening so you're not cycling. It's you're just, not cycling, not just... Cycling. Okay. I just want to make sure that I'm doing this well, by the book. That's the way. that's the way I'm doing it. I like that, it. That necessarily mean it's the right way. It's the Morris method. It's... <laughs> okay. This. This. All right. I don't know what this is gonna be like. But, uh, well, well, I can't. Go? I can't promise you anything cool. All right. <laughs> Just putting that out there. It seemed like you were able to take control of the situation there, Tom. Oh, you're tired. Are you tired, Tom? It seems like you travelled for quite a distance. <laughs> no, it is not your home, Tom, but we appreciate you being here. Do you know Brandy? Is there a Brandy around here? Oh, you got hurt. Am I not talking to Tom?
Can't find your, are you looking for your sister? Is your sister Heather or Brandy? You've been waiting all night? Yes, waiting in a hospital is not fun. Go in there? Come in? Which room are you in? Come in and stay. Okay, well you sound a little bit less angry about things. Tea. Tea. Have sex? Whoa, come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> what was that? What was what? I that. was like getting something that was kind of like mellow. Yeah. And then like things got really weird, but it wasn't that, but it wasn't coming out of my head. But I, I know I wasn't doing the necessarily what you do, but this awful voice started coming through just on like this white noise frequencies oh, noise. and so I started writing what it was saying it was like uh go in there come in come in stay I want a woman half s and it was like oh, like Jeez. you were describe you were getting in your head right before you talk yeah so how I'm doing this we're going to talk about this obviously yeah. when we do it. it's like when I'm writing you yeah know, if I get an impulse to write something yeah. I'm just go ahead and write it yeah the last impulse I had was was just Writing f over and over and over again. Oh. Uh, yeah, I and I was getting snippets of music, but I and and and, I, and versus this, but the thing was that they were they were they were like they were. Um, are you done? I think I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> After think, that one, it yeah, was, I think I've that never, I've never heard anything quite like that last thing that came through. It was Crazy. It was. Just, it was well, the weird thing was. It was <laughs> I can tell by the way you threw the. I'm like, I think this is. Yeah, this. I don't want. I don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> well, the, the thing. I mean, I'm fine, but. Uh, well, the thing that I was getting, I was getting nothing but music, and then. I was hearing choruses like 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 long notes like, like it, it'd be something like uh, you know you love me but it'll be of me and I wouldn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> what are you trying to tell and, me? And, 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 and so so there was just. That's why I was signing up for the whole thing, because nothing came through that I could make out. Okay. Okay. Wow, that was a... Uh, it was a lot. One of our more... <laughs> that was very interesting. First off, Pip, again, thank you for being the pinch hitter for Phil Rossi. I know Phil wanted to be here. Yeah. Uh, timing and the algorithm over at YouTube they are not necessarily uh, simpatico. We needed to get this out for, yes, the, we did. Uh, for the October season. I also didn't want to keep going into November with season three. <laughs> We're looking forward to having a break and getting yeah. ready for the yeah. next season. Yeah. So. Uh, another big thing I want to do is shout out to West Virginia Paranormal Investigations and Dark Hollow Paranormal. What a great group of people. They were to... fun to investigate. Yeah, yeah. And they, it's always cool when you investigate with other groups and you learn things you pick up you know sort of tips and how they work and mm -hmm. it really informs how you uh, do your paranormal investigation and it also helps that they're not jerks yeah. <laughs> always look for not jerks that's a that's kind of a uh, of a prime rule for uh any collaborations we do with old spirits investigations first question are you a jerk uh <laughs> if you answer no then you're halfway there so yeah let's talk a little bit about the craziness. Okay, now I was asked this recently about part one and then this episode. Mm -hmm. Which do you think was crazier? Hmm. Because we had in part one the whole thing with whatever that was in the corridor sitting with me during um, d during the, uh, the the the. Friday the 13th experiment, or the horror movie experiment. And then you had that incredible EVP that we caught in the first episode. But here, on the on the third and then on the fourth floor. Hmm, I would feel like the, the, the last two sessions that we did, what Phil and I encountered on the third floor, and what the three of us encountered up on the fourth, I feel it started to really like 
tap into communicating with us. And not in the nicest way. No. 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 The third floor was fine. Mose was, was fine to communicate with. Once we got up into the fourth floor, all three sort of sessions that we did were very intense. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, quite unpleasant in places. Uh, definitely towards the last one, the things that was Phil was tapping into yeah. was we still don't uh, know. Yeah, we Quite still horrifying. don't know. Yeah, we still don't know who Frank is, do we? we I don't like Frank. No. I don't know who he is, but I do not like him. We will be frank about Frank. Frank yeah. is uh, Frank is no Frank and Furter. I mean, he, it was he was putting off some Very really nasty. Yeah, a I nasty say, piece of like I wouldn't say. say the D word, but definitely an unpleasant spirit that you know. Uh, was holding on to a lot of anger. You know, it could have been a disgruntled individual that was trying to get their meds from the pharmacy and their insurance policy changed. It could have been <laughs> yeah. somebody who was the victim of malpractice. It could have been somebody that just wasn't happy with the, uh, the, the treatment I think it was a little getting. bit more than that, the things that were coming out from That's the true. That's true. I think it was a little bit more intense than just somebody who was a little bit annoyed. That's true. Um, I thought it was uh, incredible, the the Tom incident. Tom is somebody that Phil has connected with. Yeah, kind of like his guardian, his guardian spirit yeah, from Balls Yeah, one of his spiritual Ford. kind of connections that yeah. he made at Balls Ford. Balls Bluff. Balls, Balls Bluff. Bluff. Yeah, Balls yeah. Bluff. And uh, the way that he came in and it suddenly was like. That was amazing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, calm down. And then you were writing, calm down, calm down, at the same time that Tom was apparently making an appearance. And this is this is kind of tying back into what I wanted to talk a bit about on the third floor, mm -hmm. was how the responses to the questions that you were getting with the REM pod and with the portal, mm -hmm. some of them absolutely direct questions. The portal uh, was really amazing on the third floor. Yeah. And it was so nice to get some actual tracker um, movement. Oh, you mean the tra the the, from the tracer? From the tracer, from the tracer. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that was brand right new. Right by the window too, right, right by the window. Right by the window. And I think it was not only the times that uh, the portal was speaking, but there was also times when the portal wasn't speaking mm -hmm. where we seemed to be talking about things that perhaps Mose didn't want to talk about and suddenly it went silent. Yeah. And then we got back on track to something he did want to talk about and mm -hmm. then it kicked up again. And yes, I do think you you did the right thing. I said it in the video, I'll say it now. When I started writing stuff that I would never say to the love of my life, thank you very much, lest I wind up being the new fertilizer for her rose garden, I. I would have never said that stuff. Mm -hmm. Even at my angriest, I would never say that sort of thing to you. The fact that you kept control of the situation it by, was by just shutting shutting down the conversation. But it was, I gotta say, in the moment, I felt like I was completely alone because both of you were kind of just being mouthpieces or you know they, you were getting that communication. So I did feel like I was alone with that thing. But you were still in control. I and felt semi yeah. semi in control. No, because so so here's my argument for whatever was happening in that moment, which again you handled like a pro. Mm. The the thing was was that they were calling you names, whatever this thing was. It was probably Frank or one of Frank's minions. Who knows? But they were calling you names. They were saying horrible things to you. They were saying horrible things to Phil, and you shut it down. You're like, well, I'm not even going to read this comment. I'm going to focus on Phil. And the first thing that I start writing after you stopped reading what was in my mm -hmm. automatic writing was, look, look, look. Yeah. And then out of the blue, gingerbread snaps. <laughs> I don't know what that is about. <laughs> but I think, I mean, I didn't feel like it was you writing down that stuff because at the same time that you were saying stuff, Phil was saying sort of corroborating sort of stuff that I was like, okay, there's something definitely here that's talking through both of them. But the point I'm getting at is you maintained control. As we have mentioned before, it's about intent. Mm -hmm. When you when you even start up an investigation, it's about intent. But there's also the whole thing of, at the end of the investigation, you say, you stay put, I'm going home. You cannot follow me. You try and remain in control yeah. because you and don't want to, you know, I mean, lose it. <laughs> exactly, because if you lose it, that that's when you get the well, possibility. Well, yeah, that's, I think that's entirely what Frank, whatever his name was, yeah. up there wanted us to do. No, I, I totally agree. But uh, I think, you know, it was encapsulated that moment when Phil just flipped the headphones. Wow. 
right off his head. You know it's something dark. Yeah. When Phil Rossi throws his his headphones off and says, "We are done." Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, that was. I also was wonder. Intense. Also wonder. Part of me thinking about it and watching it again. Um, whether perhaps because it was the end of the night and we were all a little bit tired, perhaps we were more susceptible, a little bit more yeah. broken down. I would agree. Slightly uh, to allow that to be, to happen. Yeah. It felt like, yeah. I would was, agree. I mean, at the end of it, we were just tired and a little bit, I think we were a little bit um, frazzled by oh, that uh, uh, totally. situation. It was basically the, uh, I guess you would call it the proving ground before we went to Wildwood Sanato uh, Sanatorium. <laughs> it um, had a very similar vibe. That's season four, everybody. That is coming in season four. No spoilers, four. but it did have a very similar vibe. Yeah, yeah. But that was the first time we'd ever encountered it. Yes. Uh, and, and even with the darkness of the fourth floor, I, I would definitely say we didn't go to Old Hospital on College Hill to see if it was haunted. We've mm, seen yeah. plenty of coverage of it to know that it's haunted. But the reason why I think the part one of this episode is performing so well and the reason why people go back to the Old Hospital and new teams go to the Old Hospital on College Hill is because they want to have their own experience. They want to see what they bring to the table. Well, I think we found and something that was a little different to other teams as well, because we seem to be making a connection with someone called Robert. Yeah, I wanted to mention Robert. Yeah. Uh, he was one of the doctors? He was one, one of the founders right. of Williamson, uh, the hospital. And he was actually killed in a plane crash. He was piloting his own sort of single engine plane and he crashed and was killed. And that name Robert came up as well. Yeah, his yeah. name was Robert. Yeah. He was actually from China, which was very interesting for Extreme. a West Virginia in the 50s. And that's the other thing I'm also finding out about the history of Williamson, West Virginia. It was a pretty diverse town. Yeah. I mean, Mose Blackburn, he was a restaurant owner. Yeah. And I mean, and then it was a, a, during the 50s, I think up into probably mm. the into the 70s. Yeah. It was a happening place. There was a lot going on there. There was lots of money. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, I think there's. To me, the old hospital has each different level, has a different sort of vibe to it. And as much as there was death and, and despair there, I mean, all those children in Williamson yeah. were born yeah. in that hospital. So there was also life and there was also people that cared about working there. So there is. So uh, we did get a comment about the old hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, someone said, oh, she must have been gorgeous, you know, in her heyday. I'm like. She's still beautiful now. I mean, mm -hmm. they call her the, the grand old lady of Williamson. And yeah, you know, she is rather intimidating when you, when you see her. Yeah. But there's still a beauty about her. There's still that... Perched on top of the hill yeah. like that. Yeah. Well, the other thing is, of course, that they're going to be opening up the nursing uh, building, yeah. which is right next to the hospital there, so that offers up a whole new it does. Uh, avenues of exploration. It, but, it, but I will mention that I don't think we're quite done with the old hospital. I don't think we're done because uh, I made a friend at TwitchCon mm -hmm. and it turns out that uh, Ashlina, that's the, the friend I made, she um, apparently really wants to go to the old <laughs> hospital. It's on her bucket list. But I, I wonder if Frank will be there. We, but the, the thing is, we'll know about Frank. We'll be prepared. We'll, we'll be prepared we'll be this time. We'll be prepared that time. And yeah. yeah, I just I found the old hospital to be it just delivered. It, it was everything I wanted it to be, and so much more. And highly recommend going there. Oh yeah, right? if you're absolutely. In, if you want to do a really solid investigation, go there. Uh, Still one of my favorite pieces of merch from any haunted location. Oh, let's see, uh, the the black scrubs. I freaking love my black scrubs. So I got to make sure that I, I, I don't put on any weight because <laughs> I don't think they're making them anymore. But let's talk a little bit now about what's going to happen uh, after we're done mm -hmm. with with uh, with this season. Well, the content's not going to stop. No, content's not going to stop. We still have our shorts mistress who is going to be going through all the best of moments of season three and maybe even going back to season two and season one and repurposing them as shorts. So we will definitely be keeping the content coming. We will also have special events coming. We have our uh, our haunted house experiment with the Fear Factory, That'll as you all know, is the candy factory. That's coming. 
We also have a really interesting experiment. We have no idea if this has ever been done before, but we're going to give it a shot. We're calling it the Satanic Panic Experiment. That's a blast from the past. I know. So oh, we're yeah. going to go to Linville Manor with the cast of Dungeons and Disabled, and we are going to see if paranormal activity kicks up as we play D and D. It's going to be. I, I can't wait. I, I can't don't think wait. I've seen anybody do that. I'm really excited. This is going to be that. fun. So we have special events planned. We have more content coming, but we are going to take a break from investigations and we are going to work on new investigations for season four. Uh, oh, I have my, I'm going to do a little five minute paranormal leaning into my love of history with the history of the paranormal, history of ghosts. What is the best way to make sure that you don't miss any of this new content? Well, you know what to do. You're going to go on ahead and you're going to like this episode, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and enable those notifications for whenever we put up brand new content. That is the best way to keep in touch with us. And these little things really help out old spirits in ways you cannot imagine. And of course, don't forget memberships. We have memberships. Like uh, yesterday, I posted some exclusive behind the scenes shots from our candlelight tour of the Old City Cemetery in Lynchburg, Virginia. That is what we've got coming. I'm and, excited. And we cannot be more thrilled. But we do need to take a break. We need to recharge the batteries. And we also need to get out and explore and investigate to make sure we have Season 4 ready to go in April of 2025. And we want to thank you all for the support, for the love, and for every way you have shown how much this channel means to you in 2024. It's been an amazing season. It's been an amazing year. A lot of change, including this new house. And we cannot wait to come back in 2025 with brand new investigations. So from all of us here at OSI, we love you guys. <laughs> Take care, stay safe. And we'll see you in the field. Phil, she's gunning for your job.